In this video we're going to learn about Google Keep Recording Audio. It's a follow-up from a Sweet Life video. So the deal is that I've done a little bit of private research that I thought I'd make public just to satisfy myself really. So with Google Keep Recording Audio you speak the words they are written as text on the screen. In a moment you're going to be looking at how there is a 1.6 second rule from my own investigation. We're going to be looking at how audio playback, playing back the file, is really bad quality. Let's say the machines at Google, Google can read it, but not so much for humans. I will demonstrate that. And the last thing is if you wanted to get your file and download it, you can only do that on desktop. Huge mouthful, but this is how it works. Initially, on the 29th of October, Laura May Martin from uh, the Google team Productivity Advisor did a little video, very good, very short, very concise, transcribe an audio note. And they did this example here where they said, you know, you tap it, schedule coffee with Tim, and then you've got it written in Keep. And that was pretty much the video. So what we're going to be looking at is something a lot more in depth. So for those people who still do not know that if you use Keep.Google as the app, you can go to number one and press the little plus button, recording, and then number three, you get a pop-up and you can speak your notes. And number four, you get the text written in this example, schedule coffee with Tim, and then you can play the file. That's pretty much how it works, but I wanted to look an awful lot deeper. So on mobile, and this is just a me testing around with dark theme on Google Keep, what we've got here is a load of text, middle screen here, uh, let's put the pointer on, that we've got a bunch of as one, two, three, four different, you know, paragraphs have been spoken as a test by me, you can play them. And so if you look at this eight second one here, on the right hand side, you've got it plays and you've got the audio file. Notice there is no download for mobile. If we swap over to desktop, and here's a screen grab from desktop, you'll notice that that same eight second file here, we've now got something that says download audio. Play audio, then download will appear. So you hit play first to show the download button, or you can delete it. Um, so you must play it. When you do that, the files that come down will be an ADTS file. If you use Google Takeout, this will be a 3G PP file. I'm just telling you this because this is not a WAV file, not an MP3. Um, there is no download on mobile. So that's when I say digging a little bit deeper. Now I'm going to demonstrate the file itself, which is going to be looking like this. Where is it? Audacity that I do. So listen to this. This is a recording where I'm also speaking about six inches away. <laughs> That's pretty terrible, isn't it? So what I say is that when you record it, the machines in the cloud at Google will know that they can type this text pretty much for you. But it's not a great quality if you wanted to publish that later. So if I wanted to normalize it, what do you actually get is this. Listen. This is a recording where I'm also speaking about six inches away. And I'm wondering how long the recording will go. In, so in other words, what I'm getting at is that um, you're hearing my voice now recorded standalone on a Zoom H2N, possibly in stereo. And um, what you're getting off of Keep is not any way near... Um, Sorry, what am I looking for here? Demo that I do. The quality that you would actually like to get if you're recording, say, for an audio book or for a YouTube video like this. So then, moving along, what we've got is the 1.6 second rule. It works like this. Here is a video that I previously published called Worlds. It's like a little spoken story thing, short story. And I pause between hear the buzzard and birds, and wind, and abscission. So in other words, I paused there. What I did between the, and I'll, I'll give you the link to this, between the word buzzard and, I paused for 2.2 seconds. If you were recording that in Google Keep, it would automatically shut down, because from my testing, if you are speaking and pause too long, <laughs> he said, it will shut down. So in other words, if I was speaking a story with pausing emphasis, there was light at the end of the tunnel. Then I've got to keep and be pressured quite honestly to keep my pauses 
less than 1.6 seconds otherwise the software shuts down and I'm back to square one 2.2 in this sample would have shut down the software if you get that idea so what we will contrast here is if you are normally like most of us may do is voice type let's say using a uh, gboard then I did a little test here and if I was actually um, hitting the microphone button and it says either speak now or listening if I said one day in the history of time and paused I can actually go for 11.5 seconds on my test before the software thinks actually this person's not going to speak again and it shuts down remember words are written on screen but they will not have a saved audio file in this example so how far have we got how else can we record a voice and see the text on the screen using some of these Google products. Number one is, of course, is Google Keep using Gboard voice typing, which I just demonstrated in the previous screen. The second one is Google Docs voice typing, you know, which is pretty common on um, desktop, or you can do mobile using the Gboard in the normal way. The third example is record a voice video file, which I often do, upload that to YouTube as a private video. Remember, you can't upload WAV files or MP3s to YouTube, but you must make them into say, an MP4 as a video file, and then it will automatically transcribe. That is a good way. The last one, which is a big favorite of mine, is using the free app Live Transcribe, which is demonstrated on the right-hand side here, where you can save your transcripts and therefore speak as you wish, and then just copy them and save them um, over to, say, a Word document or whatever. So that was it. There are some references here to do with this. Number one is about uh, the Laura May Martin Sweet Life video. Then you've got a bit of background between these ADST, sorry, ADTS and 3GPP audio files that Google seem to be using. There's a couple of Wikipedias. And if you want to know more about live transcribe, it is actually here on um, this reference list in the box. That was me, Mike Downs, with a bit on Google Keep Audio. Have a lovely day and hope it works well for you.